In order to build something amazing, in order to explore a place we've never been, I think it has to start with a dream. And science fiction is the recording of those dreams and the sharing of those dreams with people to get them enthusiastic about these goals, these ideas that, that go beyond what we've done before. My name is Jeff Norris, and I work at the NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory, where I lead mission operations innovation. Touchdown confirmed. We're safe on Mars. I lead a lab at JPL that's responsible for systems that control robots and spacecraft. But we're most interested in building systems that enable people to interact with complicated machines and environments. I think science fiction is the first chapter in technological innovation. I have fond memories growing up and watching Star Trek when I was a kid. Gene Roddenberry's vision of the holodeck. This idea that we could create an environment that would respond to our wishes and our dreams and our designs almost as if it were a manifestation of our own consciousness at the time seemed so impossibly futuristic, but yet so tantalizingly important. And I'm thrilled that right now I'm part of the field that's starting to make some of those dreams come true. I feel that we've benefited from the inspiration that Star Trek provided, and we're also surpassing some of the dreams that those early innovators had. So at NASA, I believe we've always had an amazing relationship with science fiction. They've challenged us to think further, to go farther, and when we accomplish those tasks, when the thing that used to be science fiction becomes a newspaper headline, then we challenge science fiction in turn to think bigger, to think even further. So it's this virtuous, I think, cycle where they challenge us and then we catch up and challenge them to think even further. 